I wishes this is going to be a great video. Let's take a look. Welcome to the Coke Studio Bangla second live concert happening in Bangladesh. Right now as you can see we are setting up for our show. In this video we will take a closer look and analyze many aspects of live shows which includes live visual from making contents, making show file, performing and little of lighting design for a stadium venue like this. We will talk about this fascinating LED design and how to make contents and make cool changes on it. We will check out how we work parallel with the camera team, create few magnificent live camera effects. We're gonna cover many things that we love to see and learn. Even if you are a pro or just new in the world of live show productions, I'm sure that you are gonna find your hidden gems in this video when we break it down into pieces and analyze it with you. Let's do it. This venue is called Bangladesh Army Stadium. As you may already understand, this is managed by Bangladesh Army. So I have been growing up watching all the big concerts in this venue. We have more venues in Bangladesh, but this one is specifically very well known for rock concerts and big concerts. For those who doesn't know about Coke Studio Bangla, Coke Studio Bangla is season 2 going on right now but we already are so popular that we are in second position that made this possible. Coke Studio Bangla is not another regular song. These are usually produced by the best of the best musicians of a country or a nation. So as you can see we are all set up for the LEDs and lights and the band is sound checking right now. So let's check out how they are checking the sound. In the Coke Studio Season 2 live concert we have a special band called Arcel. What Arcel is gonna do you are gonna see next. But let me show you how our Coke Studio Bangla band looks like. Their families look like this. <laughs> so these are not all the artists here, we have 100 plus artists but these are their friends and families chilling here right before the show. So this is the closing concert of Coke Studio Bangla season 2. So yes, Coke Studio Bangla is a new baby. But you know what, Coke Studio Bangla is already in the second place most streamed and watched content comparing to other Coke Studio concerts. So my team Studio Z always had been with Coke Studio Bangla live performances from its press launching to season 1 concert to few special private concerts of this band. And now I'm here doing all cool things that I'm gonna share with you. About the artist. This concert is featuring only Coke Studio Bangla band, which is a band of around 100 plus gifted and talented musicians of this land. In addition, we have progressive rock band Art Cell for a special segment. So as you can understand, today we are stacked up with the best gears needed and available in this country. We have great set of DNB sound system installed, designed by the team of best engineers in this area who are always working with the artist. This immersive crazy LED was set and patched by Green Vision, one of the largest visual equipment supplier in this country. The lighting design, plotting and stage design was created by Glow and Mukim's creation, one of the biggest dreamers of this country. The whole thing. The show campaign and execution, everything was run by Totpart, a new team of great minds in the business. So the fencing design was cool as well. They made a magic zone inside for super VVIPs, means mostly coke themselves. This is where you could see celebrities doing flash mobs often in many songs. So our panel was right there in the dead center, 120 feet far away from the stage. I can't speak for the crowd, but we had the best POV of the show from the panel apart from this one leg of the tent. So other than the coolest view, we had the performance ramp around us here. So singers and performers use this ramp to walk closer to the crowd. Also in many songs, we had stage acts happening here. Few amazing choreographies, fire spinning, stuffs like this. So as you can already see the stage we had, we sliced up each segment individually. Not only that, to use in many other uses, we had few more added slices. Those are gonna come in handy later you're gonna see. We are going to use them to make screen presets for the show. So we used many 16 to 9 footages, some stock banks and all the contents we received from artists and agencies were 16 to 9. 
that makes us use these slices to extend them to other parts of the LED display. It's kind of what stage flow does for even quicker, but this one right inside Resolume Arena, very simple. Speaking of stage flow, that brings me to hybrid constructs. We have extensively used their awesome new tool called Pulse throughout this gig. So this plugin detects tempo very easily and everything in BPM and BitSnap synced. So I have another video on this separate, how it was working in the show. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. So more advanced tips and advanced slice tricks are coming up on the next part of this video. As you can see, we had a chunk of LED blocks to play with in various ways. So we initially made a chunk of chasers to start working. Later, before the show, we added few more chasers for camera. Speaking of camera, throughout this show, we had two camera feeds coming. One is coming from PCR means production control room, real-time cameras edited with the brand CGI's advertisements and other videos. Those feeds, we were sending them to the left and the right of the screen, all through our media server, so we had the blending control of the feed. And another camera we used from our house was a dedicated hero camera. This feed was used in very selective sequences. Hi, we look messed up because we've been working as you may already know. Uh, you know him already because oh, yes. he's the guy who has been making, uh, manipulating most of the contents of this show. So he's going to trigger, he's going to plot the contents according to, here we are seeing the show flow, the whole uh, show script. So he's going to plot all the contents like that. And these are our contents that we have already worked so much. So we already have named, I can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 35. Uh, we all love working that sort of. So let's dive in. So since the start of creative production, we sat within ourselves and came up with that, we had to understand and respect one thing. Cook Studio Bangla season 1 and 2 is already published production. As video content came up with song story, art, design, choreography, everything. So there's nothing to create from the scratch. Rather the art guide is there already. We just have to recreate that the whole thing for live, adding live excitement, massiveness, and that's it. So we were very fortunate the creative agency for this was very helpful and cooperative. For many tracks, we already received artworks as AI or PSD. Few as HD video clips, those were used in the video shoot set. So, we used Adobe Suite to animate those contents, making a story out of them synchronized to the lyrics, and rendered out different layers for different controls separately. So almost half of the contents we received and produced contents in this modality. Rest of the contents were made out of our studio following the visual guideline. So we got many lyric typo that would pop up when that part of the song comes in. We also made few outlines, applied chaser on them. That creates a magical revealing feel, mostly to be used in the song breaks in the later part of the show. So before we dive into application of this playlist, let's take a pause. Let's talk about controllers. So we have used one Aka APC40 MK2 and one APC Keys25. So the APC40 MK2 was our main controller. So this had our master dimmer with some layer and composition FXS control. We also had some clip fire control here. So we have used our APC Keys25 to use some manual things which included some velocity controls as in we could use some velocities to tap into music and feel the energy, have the intensity with the music. And that controller was also used to fire our typos and FXs, some group FXs and chasers. Also, we used this APC Keys 25 to fire our cameras going on. So we had one dedicated row for the PCR video and another row for our hero cam. Hi, my name is Sifat. I'm a producer and VJ on behalf of Studio Z. So for this particular gig, rather than the traditional MIDI mapping, which is just on and off, we MIDI mapped on velocity. So what it does, when we press the keys softer, the effect goes softly and when we put uh, press it harder, the effect goes full 100%, which gave us a full on performance mode for this gig and we did a lot of fun with this MIDI mapping. So after a week of work right now, two days before the gig, what's happening here? Let's check out. So that's the background, that's the village, that's a place called Kulna, that's the home of Royal Bengal Tigers. And we have a truck. So when we put all the visuals, this goes like this. So when we, let me just try playing this song. Again, these are unsorted. Let me just show you how we are setting up our layers. 
So that's a song called Buritin. Super funky one. So this is, these are the layers. So there are effects on, on layers. So this one also has some effects. On top of that, the car comes in. So as you can see, it looks very complicated, but it was very much organized as in blocks were made throughout the songs. I can see some footages are loading. So these were our decks according to our run sheets. Let's say we had some segments in between right before our segment F, we had art cell popping in. So we had visuals for those. So all the visuals were sorted in a group. Let's say this is our visual group. So I can always trigger, let's say this song, this portion, let me just turn off the visual for this one so I could always go one two three layer so everything stays on a group and I had some typos those were coming like this so all in this group we also had some typos coming in from a different typo layer let's say this song had some visuals as song visuals so let's get rid of all the visuals from before okay so let's fire a song visual this song is called nahubo so this song let me show you how the visual were we just turned down everything so that was visual one that was two that was three that was four this song also had some typos going on like that so we can also manipulate each layer let's say this one has two fx's this one had two fx's this one had two fx's also the mix had something going on like this and this so on a subtle crazy moment we go like this on a real crazy crazy moment we go like this So for this show, we had extensively used some camera tricks as in, let me just fire our brand visual first. So we had some, all our capture devices are here. So let's fire Joe Satrinio as a camera, as in he is our hero cam. And this one as our mix camera, which we replaced in the show with this capture device, which is gonna have the PC or mix coming in. So let's put this down. So I also black out this one. So now I read out this as camera inputs. So this one is grabbing this and doing a crazy effect or our slice like this. So we can always put our PC or mix into these two displays. We can also put that in some this display. Let me just put down the transition to switch it faster. So this is one state. This is not the state. We are using some crazy things here with this PC or mix like this. So these are our preset we are always ready to go though 90 percent of the time we are planning to use this feed as like two wings coming in these are gonna have animations avs and a lot of camera works a very well prepared choreographed camera works are coming so we're gonna put them here these are mostly our audience feeds so for cam 2 we do some real magic let's put up what's going on so we are having a hero cam which is gonna come to our all captures in this place. So let's place Joe Satrini here. Again, let's black out this one. So we have another layer router coming in. So this hero cam starts here. Ta-da! 
So whenever we have this camera going on, we are always having this hero cam here. We always have a controller to fade in and out. So we have now the preset for our hero cam which goes crazy like this. From this point onwards, we always go crazier and crazier. So, voila! Also this one, we also have something like this. We also have something like this. As you can see, that's a pixel chaser going on. Let me just turn on this one. This is gonna come with our hero camera. So now let's check out how we jam with music on our preparation time. So that's our basic playlist plan and these are our layer controls. These are going to be our master FXs. We're going to have some layer uh, FX control here connected to the dashboard and we're linking all the FXs to the dashboard. That's why we are all seeing our body is synced with the MIDI controller. So each show we change the FXs considering the band or the music we're playing. But our concept, our flow stays the same. Our body knows that this is our layer one and these are our layer two dashboards. So again, this is completely with based on our personal team preferences. You can do uh, anything you want to do. So we did this. Uh, again, we have some uh, strobes like this. This is the speed of the strobe. And this is the opacity of the strobe. Okay, let me put another visual. We have some black strobe as well. Similar concept. So I can use one hand to do all this. So. In this section, uh, we had a song called Bhaber Pagol. So what Coke Studio did was mixed folk song, which is a Lalon song uh, and mixed it with hip hop. Lalon was a philosopher, poet and a songwriter who pretty much spoke about spiritual way of life, who was born in the late 1700 and died on uh, late 1800. So Lalon is a big influencer who influenced a lot of poets such as Rabindranath Tagore. So what Coke Studio did was uh, they blended the folk song which was a very iconic song and mixed it with new generation hip hop song. So in this section they had a very fast hip hop verse which was a tongue twist. Uh, we had some typo assets from the agency. What we did we took it as a challenge and we sing the total hip hop tongue twist section manually uh, which we hidden the keys manually and sing the typo which was a successful and we did a bang on the show. We started the design for the song. When we started season 2 song planning, the set of the song gum was so beautiful, a bar with coke shapes, with a retro touch. So we thought, one song we can play with colors is called gum. So when we planned for season 2 end concert, we know how to take it to next level. So we thought of an illustration. We show a banyan tree, a farmer boy sitting underneath, a cow is around, green field, a mountain is there. A beautiful illustration appeared in our mind.
So we have set our two Windows based PCs as our main media server for this gig. Both are OSC synced, packed up flawlessly in sync with each other on the dry run day. So big shout out to MTHXYZ for this trick. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. So all backup sync was working mirror flawlessly until too many changes in the actual show appeared, mostly due to overcrowd. And then we stopped our OSC sync and kept our backups independent. So we had around 4 hours after everything was patched perfectly. So we kind of tried to use this time fullest and share some BTS. I mean behind the scene videos with you. So on the show there is nothing better than to seeing us dancing with the songs. So though we planned for one VJ to perform at once, the music was hard to resist for a second VJ to wait. Since we had very big lights pointing at us, people in VIP zone very often could see VJs and LDs jumping and dancing, bumping in the panel. So as you can see my sweat, I, we have just finished our show. How was the show? We still don't know. We just have to watch the video because we were so much in the time. The performance was so good. Let's check out how that was. So I have many videos made for Rezulu Marina on many tricks and tips in this channel. I truly hope you have picked the best of them, just like I did watching other videos like this. Still, if you have any specific need or need any specialized training, I currently provide a one-to-one -one session. I call it VJ therapy session because we might need therapy sometimes. Creative ones, where I troubleshoot your problem as an individual VJ or a team, small to big, anything. Resolute VJ tips, theories and techniques, SketchUp for stages, Adobe Suite for making contents, MIDI mapping and cool VJ swag. So I am going to put a link in the description below where you can reach me. So if you like this kind of detailed show analysis or a show vlog video, let me know in the comment below. In the meantime, check out this video for another awesome trick. See you next time.